V? Damn. You just stood there and watched her play us? As if that wasn't enough. You took her eddies, too. She was right, Judy. Granted, didn't tell us what she was planning, but she probably knew you wouldn't agree to it. Well, fuck! Club as big as this, operating in such a niche, needs a strong hand at the helm. And a strong gang to back it up. Bullshit! You're just spewing words now, V. You took her eddies, so the sitch is clear, cut, and dried for me. You're a merc. She's a soulless, conniving bitch, and I'm a sorry-ass gonk. Well, then. See ya. So you're probably wondering, how fucked up was I to do that? Well, apparently, according to the web, I did the most fucked up choice in this mission. So, I, I don't know about you, but I actually do want to romance Judy. So, I'm going to just do a little bit of fixing, if you don't mind. Just give me a moment. No, Parker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Cloud needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking Hold on, Maiko. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. Honestly... You gotta take him down. That's why we're here. I'm ready to hit the rocks. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Like, oh, me taking this? Myself. Honestly, you really think I'm gonna make the same mistake twice? Fuck out of here. Oh, shut up. What the hell? What the hell was I thinking? What were you thinking, Michael? Trying to double cross us? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. And I'm being I see nice. You got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. Oh, fuck me! Are you serious, Michael? I gave you a chance to leave. Oh! All right, V, get out of there. Oh my Exit's God! Exit on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. She deadass tried to shank me. Oh my god. She deadass tried to shank me. Let me just... Let me just pickpocket all these things. All these bodies here. I mean, I could get at least a good decent amount of money. Alright, nothing to see here. Let me skedaddle. Oh my god. This... This is not what I wanted. But honestly, I prefer this compared to the other option. 
of me being on Michael's side, take the money, and not being able to be with Judy. So. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. It kind of sucks I have to kill Judy's quote unquote friend, Get but down she. Waiting by the food stalls. Is she definitely double crossed us? You killed her? I'm sorry, honey. Oh my fucking god. You killed her. I had no choice. She was about to kill me. Sorry, Judy. I, I didn't plan for it to happen. I know. Just give me a sec. I gotta gather my wits. Okay. I, uh... I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See ya, Judy. I feel really bad for getting rid of her friend like that, but she did try to pull a fast one on us without even telling us. And the whole point of doing that is to not be, you know, told what to do by any type of gang, so. We accomplished the mission, but unfortunately, we had some casualties. But yeah, like I said before, I'd rather do this direction than to never have the possibility of romancing Judy. Because I've been trying to get with Judy for how long now? And you really think I'm just going to mess that chance up? No way, Jose. Flies? Near the food? I mean, yeah, I love protein, but this is not the type of protein I actually want to put in my mouth. Uh, you're here. Oh. It's Nova. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for a ride. This is some car you have here, Gary, that's for sure. As soon as I saw you that time, I thought to myself, those are some balls on that one. And I definitely need someone with a pair for this job. No, Never okay. mind the testicles. Tell them to keep those hands at ten and two. Always wound up in a ditch whenever Carrie drove. These are wheels? God, no. Come on. Borrowed it. So no loss if we wreck it. That's the plan. Fuck. Knew it. So what good'll my balls do us today? V. Some people in this town, they've gone completely whacked. Oh. You, you're gonna help me set things right in this shithole we call home. Sounds uh -huh. like a revenge plot here. Exactly? Yeah, there's this little girl group. Us cracks, mm. right? Three birds from Japan, laser pop scop. Yeah, big over in Asia. I mean, pff, who is it? Now they signed some deal for an NUS tour. Want to promote it with a cover mm. of my song. Can you believe that? Not about to let them play me like that. All right, and you got a beef with these chicks because. Seriously? Don't see the fuckery here? Ah, uh, screw it. Doesn't matter. Be clear as day in a sec. Just listen to the plan. The truck with the us cracks kid will be coming this way. Got a tip. We do it old style, like last century. We blow the fucker up. No gear. Those bitches will have to cancel concerts. Carrie solving his own problems. He used to just send in an army of lawyers. They made it all disappear while he tanned his bare ass by the pool. Must be some fuckery indeed. Be there in a sec. So while we go and do a nice little stakeout for the van. I want to say thanks for watching my video for this week's Cyberpunk, and I hope you do enjoy this episode, because I'm definitely going to make sure I entertain you Truck. for Grab what's in there. this nice little video that I made. Well, well, quite the arsenal. We're fighting for art, 
Art with a capital A. Come on, get to work. Hmm, I know the guy. This ain't about art. You got it. You know, they killed Ivy Coma right here. In this very spot. DJ, cloaked AV followed her limo. Almost nothing left of her afterwards. Or her limo. Turned out later she wasn't the target. Some biotechnica suit busy eating her out when the bullets started flying. Found the bodies just like that. Oh my god, that's sick. That's not any way a person should go like that. You know... Lay it out here. Okay. Whoa. Hi. Quick. Oh my god, the spikes. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Where am I hiding? Carrie, where are we hiding? Holy shit. It's definitely gonna pop out mad tires with the amount of spikes we just put on the road. This is your hiding spot? Okay. What well, now? Now we wait. Automated modules, hollow spikes for better control of the vehicle. Standard issue police tech. Nades too. Where'd you get them? Same place you get designer drugs. The latest still patent pending audio vox and fresh ubaris. Black market? Nah. Fans. What type of fans do you have, Carrie? Let me know, because I need those I need them fans. Okay, so that's the van approaching. There she is. Right on the dot. I take the driver. You get his side to him. We want him out of the truck. Right. Okay. Sure, what? what the hell was that? Out of the truck! On the ground! Hey, Come on! I can see him. Come on. Get out! Ground! Now! Or slice you! Hey man, listen! On the ground, I said! You want me sliced? Chop lover style? There you go. Lay it out. Hey man, lose the iron. Let's talk it out. Not a word. It'll all be over soon. Ugh, fucking hell. Access guard! Grab it! Quit storming. Pop the back. And no gonk moves. All right, let me just open up this baby right here. God, stay nice and still there, boys. I just see equipment, Carrie. What's inside? Your lucky day, Care. Crates and crates of nothing but gear. Got your mixers, speakers, drums, cables by the mile. A nice Hell wicked guitar. Yeah, we got a hit. Right, gents. Now, run along and don't look back. You too. I said, don't run your the ass. Fuck off. Now for the grand finale. Want this set to be a smoldering puddle of chrome and plastic when we're done. Ah, new signature move. Mm-hmm. You got it. So don't miss. I gotta throw a grenade. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Shit! Fuck yeah! Good working with you, V. Fuck me, Carrie. Meaning it's just a truck of toys for some plastic Japanese dolls. Might as well blow up a cotton candy stand. But still a big step forward. I hardly recognize the bastard. Burning real nice. I'll grant you that. Thing is, I mean, what's it actually get you? If those little bitches think they can make it big on my song, they got another thing coming. But don't you want the Do you world? Even to? know what I had to sacrifice to get where I am, the price I paid for success, and those ten any whores want to clap my tune and expect me to just let them? Fucking pig ignorant hacks. Yeah, success. Always a sore spot of cares. See, nothing's changed. But wouldn't it have been better to have a lawyer fight this fight for you? Like you've done so many oh, times you're before. One to talk. I'll flash my teeth and sign papers enough for one lifetime. This here, 
I'm sending a message. This is how you do biz in Night City. Being a psychopath, okay. Cops! That's Delta. You drive. Get him off our ass. Of course I have to drive. Fuck, okay. You know, I gotta switch cameras. It's easier for me to drive, so... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. Was that a shot? Oh, shit. Last time I ran from the cops back in... 2020. With Johnny, actually. High out of our damn minds. Pig still couldn't catch us. <laughs> These gogs don't stand a chance. Uh, Fucking pig! Damn, damn, damn. I'm not trying to crash. Yeah, well, don't pop the champagne yet. Still riding our asses. So we lose them. The quicker the better, too. I'm starving. Whatever. I guess we're done? Lost them. <laughs> that was easy. Ass, but it was worth every Eddie. Nice one. Yeah, to see a single Eddie. Yeah, where's my money? Okay. Drop me off on Canitas. Hey, we're not even too far away. That is pretty convenient since I was just randomly going into any side street I can think of. So, thanks for the convenience, Cyberpunk. Other than that, this is a easy mission to do. I mean, I was expecting like a really good chase scene, but I don't know. Here you're a dine eats at a dump like this. Jumbada. Best coffee in town right here. Thick as tar, and if they know you, they give you the Gannick stuff. Come on, my treat. Wow. Coffee with a rock star? No, why not? First time for everything. Hey man, you're paying for my meal, right? Might as well. When Samurai started out, we spent every any we had on guitars, strings, you know. Hey, Rachel! Good morning. Know this dump. Know that smell. But how? Yeah, it's pretty familiar. Have I been here before? Yep, hello. I don't know. I'm getting a weird deja vu moment right here. All right. Talk to me, Carrie. Yeah, I had almost nothing left over for food. But we still went across the street every day, right to Caliente. Stuffed our faces, down Joe by the gallon. Johnny said we were so hungry and high we would have eaten the cardboard boxes out from under the bums outside. Crackhead of energy. Wrong. I love it. The usual, Mr. Eurodyne? Mm-hmm. Double espresso. Jamaican blend, nothing else, no sugar. You got it. And for you? Just a regular coffee. Great. Be right back with it. So much easier to order than Starbucks. Oh, Thank God. Shit. Just coming down now. Oh. Fucking awesome. Last time I felt like this was back in Memphis. Last tour. Last concert vibes from the crowd, me on stage. Oh, fuck. Just thought about those us cracks cunts again. Damn, that fast. You think we got them? They really got to you, didn't they? Carrie, talk to me, buddy. I know there's something in your mind. Ooh, what's this? Look at this. Unlistable. That trash is their biggest hit. Okay, so this is definitely the music of today, that's for sure. I bet if it were to hit the charts, we will get a lot more plays like that. Even you. Um, ouch? Okay. I mean, damn, Carrie. That's a backhanded compliment. Not... Exaggerating, care? The girls just want to have fun. Sing Literally. your song to millions of adoring fans. 
You stand to gain here, dude. Yeah, man, the royalties. <laughs> Come on. You know how us cracks got started? How? Bunch of MSM suits decided the world needed this dookie and so served it up sprinkled with millions of eddies. World ate it up like it always does. And I gotta be part of that? Oh, something tells me this isn't about art with a capital A. Not about Eds, either. You're afraid, Carrie. Eh, uh, if I'm afraid of anything, it's that Johnny might have been right. Johnny? Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Let's, let's dive in deeper on this. I'm pretty curious. What's Johnny got to do with any of this? Well, Johnny accused me of leaving Samurai for money and fame. But that's not true. No, no, it's true. Won't really? Lie. But he also said I'd be putting myself on a corp leash. And that's not something you'll admit to. The us cracks thing. What if I'm a product just like those dolls? Drowning in dirty money instead of swimming in it. Okay, so... That makes sense now. He feels guilty for being a sellout. And by blowing up that fan, that helps him to feel less of a sellout. But more like a psychopath. That's pretty great. I love this. Look, not like we know each other that well, but trust me. You got a rocker's soul and a rocker's balls. Literally. <laughs> Thanks. The city doesn't forgive. It eats people alive. But you, you survived. Never thought about it that way. You may be right, though. <sighs> Better be going. Thanks for, uh, you know. Don't mention it. Let me get one last sip of this free coffee, and then I'm hitting the road. Let's go. Hey, forgot to send the eddies before, but should hit your account any sec. Thank you, I've been waiting for that for how long now? Like, bitch bird, have my money. Pay me what you owe me. So I'm going to do a couple of gigs and crash at the same time. I realized that the main quest I have for this game is actually the last quest, meaning the ending of said game and do I look like I'm ready to end this game anytime soon because I'm not hey how's life in NC getting any sleep cuz I'm not not when there's money to be made so listen one of my people names Juliet mm -hmm. was supposed to deliver me some precious data never made it getting total radio silence check on her will you and, uh, don't forget the data. Specs attached. I like everyone to know I'm patient, understanding. I realize there's a time for work and a time for family. Without a good work-life balance, we'll all blast our brains out. I get it, I do, but disappearing for two weeks because of family issues? That how Juliet thinks of me? How much she respects me? I love her because she's ripped so much Nova data out of tech for me, but man, she's starting to hurt my feelings, you know? Go to her place, see what her deal is, but remember, number one priority is that data she still owes me. Juliet's Nova and all, but if she's got a problem with that, well, like I said, data is Pryro number one. First of all, how you know Juliet's not dead? How do you know if she hasn't been kidnapped, been sent to some weird-ass camp, like how those families like to ditch their kids when they had enough of them? Two weeks without any silence. Two weeks without talking. That's pretty intense. What's this? Jules, please forgive me for how I'm doing this. I'm nowhere near as tough as you, and I can't pretend to be anymore. I hate to say it, but there's no helping Rose anymore. So at least help yourself before it's too late. 
If you change your mind, I'll be waiting for you at Sunset Motel. Think on it again, please. Always yours, Sai. She didn't even eat her burger. Yeah, something's pretty wrong here. Oof. Yeah, this place is deserted. I don't see anyone here. Rose, okay. Test results. I don't know from what, though. PLT and TSH slightly exceeded. No medical consultations is needed. However, regarding the patient's words and state of mind, psychological consultations advised. Okay, she has mental issues. Oh, interesting. A safe behind a painting. A little cliche. But hey, at least the Merc appreciates the arts. You could learn a thing or two. Wondering more how it ended up on the ground. Juliet must have been in a hurry. Yeah. Something twisted happened here, V. <sighs> if life's taught me one thing, it's that a safe's a good spot to hide your valuables. Got a reader, too. Must be an access shirt around. Now, if the shard's around here... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look through this computer. Julie! Oh my god, it's been ages. How's life? Guess I'm running with something in my mind. Remember when we were kids, we played on that old dam? We shout our names, some other stupid stuff, then listen for the echoes. How our voices carry through the valley. Sometimes I still feel like I can hear them. Different strange words, like returning from a long trip out of town. Funny, right? I don't know, Julie. Truth is, everything's going off the rails. I feel worse and worse. Losing my job certainly didn't help. And what the hell good was that new cyberware for, huh? Ugh. I hope I'm not scaring you or asking too much, but was just thinking how nice it would be to hear your voice. Not just some echo of it. Maybe that's why I need to get right again? Rosie, of course I remember the dam. Even the time we tried to kick that gunk Benny Dillard and his drone off of it. And yeah, I did hear about your job. I'm really sorry. That sucks so hard. But listen, I've been talking to Sai and we agree you should stay with us for a while. At least until you feel better. Come on, just like old times. Okay. Okay, so this is where all the bullshit happen. Okay, let me see. I'm starting to like this less and less. Best stay on our toes. Miss Horngen, I'm happy you turned to me instead of those clean-cut scam artists. But I am sorry I don't have good news for you. The symptoms you described indicate a serious disorder that will continue to progress regardless of next steps taken. In cases like this, I'm afraid no level of help you give your sister would do much good. The only real cure is one of the two max tack ways, if you understand my meaning. It's good you reached out to me, but it's best if you contact them next. The quicker what they get on this, the safer it'll be for everyone around her, including you. What, are they asking or telling her to, like, kill her sister or something? Julie, since yesterday, Rose has called me 40 times, but all I ever hear on their line is erotic breathing. <sighs> like that? And I never get a response when I call her back. Do you know what's going on? I'm really worried. Love, Mom. Hey, Mom, everything's alright. You know Rosie. <laughs> LOL. She's just being goofy. When you have 100 implants like she does, chances are at least she's got a chip loose somewhere. Oh my god! No wonder she's losing her mind. Don't worry about it. We've got everything all under control. Love ya. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ju Julie is, is all okay. Been a while we talked last and I got a few jobs I can't trust anyone else with. Plus, there's still the matter of Mr. KT's data. Right back quick. Timing on our side in this one. Basement. Oh my god, there's a dead body in the basement. 
And that's Julie. Who? And that's Rose. Oh my god, her sister killed her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this this is not good. No wonder Julie hasn't responded. The bitch is dead, just like I said. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. First off... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. First off... Where's the basement? Because we really need to... Okay, it's down there. Okay, I'm not going in that hostile area. I just want to find the chip. Like, where... Okay, let me go upstairs first, because... Holy shit, she killed her own son. What a mess. Reeks, too. Usual hallmarks of a merc's room stop there. At least she likes to read. Like, that comic book looks pretty cool. Oh, shit! Someone took a nasty hit on this. Signs of a struggle? Mm. To put it mildly. <laughs> Almost completely used up. Not something you'd keep in your medicine cabinet. Wait, last used three months ago? Oh my god. How much you want to bet the shard is with the sister? And it soars into me like to the parade, my friend. Let's fly. Kiss my forehead. Lift me up. Touch the sky. Poetry right there. I love it. After all, we can miss it, can we, little sister? Rosie is BSO thankful. My beloved baby sister fucking whore. Okay, this is not a nice poem. Will I understand it? No, you only listen to me. Julie and the echo, 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 echo. It says you have to see the parade in Japantown. Without us, the party burns. To the parade, my friend, let's fly. Kiss my forehead, lift me up. Okay. She is just... She... Mm -mm, cracked up. And she missed all of these appointments. A whole bunch of appointments she missed out on. Right. It's like, I don't want to harm her. I really don't. Okay, so this is a bathroom. That's pretty cool. Look around. Impressive pharmacy. Didn't even know this stuff was still on the black market. All these pills are downers. They're what you get if you can afford better. Hell of a lot for one person here. Well, you gotta remember with Rosie, she definitely needs to be medicated. And judging by the map I see on my upper right hand side, it looks like I actually do need to go downstairs. Okay, here I come. This sucks. This music is not helping either. Rosie? Okay. 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 Oh, no, no, no! Woo! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You leave me with no toys! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to get killed. Stop it! Oh! Okay, wait, 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 wait! I'm not trying to get killed! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're bugging out completely! I am so sorry, oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even want to kill her! Oh my god, this sucks! I'm sorry! Oh my god, listen. I'm not trying to pull this thing, okay. Another conversation, what's this? Hey, you there? I saw the lights on in your house. I know you're not sleeping. Who is this? Rose. I live facing you. You have to help me. Now. They want to kill me. 
Hold on, what's going on? Who wants to kill you? Julia and her husband, they work for the corpse. They're trying to poison me with poison gas, capsules in my bedroom. Please, you have to help me. Have you been drinking, taking anything? You don't get it. They're the ones doing this to me. They took my hold so I couldn't call anyone. Cool your tits, lady, okay? People are trying to sleep here. The police is also in on it. I'm begging you, please. Oh my god. This is sad. Like, Ju like Julie was really trying to help her sister. And due to the amount of implants that was planted in the body, she just went haywire. Ugh. Okay, so basically, yeah, this is basically her diary of how she's responding, I guess? What the hell is this? Open the safe. Okay. Let me open the safe so I can get the goods. Oh my god, this is so depressing. I don't know how I feel about this. Can't have bad luck all the time. Alright, I need to get out of here. This is... This is really sad to actually die like that in the hands of your own family member. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the drop the drop point. You know, that's one of the reasons why I actually do appreciate Cyberpunk. With these types of quests, it makes you think, it makes you wonder. Cybernetics has always been taught that it was a benefit to us. But with these cases of the cyber, cyber attacks, people just being crazy with the amount of illegal imprints being in their body, it makes you wonder, does it really help us or does it actually make it worse? What happened to Juliet V? Mark. She never mentioned she had a sister. It's a crying shame. I agree. Thanks for grabbing that data, V. Gig's closed. I'll, um, I'll be in touch. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.